thousands of acres of land in the U.S. every single year. They cause entire towns to pack up their treasured possessions and worsen air pollution in places hundreds away. But are they getting worse? In the U.S., the short answer is yes. Over the last few decades, we've seen wildfires in the U.S. increase dramatically in their size, duration, and intensity. Take a look at the fire perimeters from the western United States in the 1960s and 70s, and now compare that to the same time in two decades. So why is this happening? Longer and more severe droughts in many regions are creating the perfect conditions for extreme fires. Now a small fraction of the wildfires are a natural part of ecosystems, and the vegetation has adapted to it. But perhaps most surprisingly, nearly 85% of wildfires in the U.S. are ignited by humans, whether that be from unattended campfires, burning debris, poor forest management, or even intentional arson. And because of changing conditions like stronger winds, these fires often grow out of control and very quickly. The campfire that hit Northern California in 2018 is the deadliest and most destructive fire to ever burn in the state, and that's in part because of its speed. During its most significant growth period, the fire burned the equivalent of one football per second. 85 people died. And even if you don't live anywhere near a wildfire, they can the smoke from wildfires can travel hundreds of miles and linger for days. Exposure to air pollutants from wildfires can have detrimental impacts. An alarming new report warns that because of climate change and the way that the number of extreme fires is expected to increase by 50% globally by the end of the century. 